The film opens somewhere on Skull Island. The great ape Kong awakens and gathers his food on the island before making a spear from a tree. He throws it and it hits the wall of a dome that is using Skull Island as a setting. Kong is being studied by monarch scientist Dr. Eileen Andrews, and he has developed a bond with a girl named Ja, a deaf girl from the Iwi tribe whose family was killed by a tidal wave and is now looked after by Eileen. Eileen's aide thinks Kong should be let go from the facility, but she worries that him being out in the open will lead Godzilla to go after them, as there cannot be two alphas. It has been five years since Godzilla battled King Ghidorah and established himself as the King of the Titans. A new company called Apex Cybernetics, led by Walter Simmons has stepped in to help rebuild society following all the destruction. A former Apex employee, Bernie Hayes, runs a podcast, Titan Truth Podcast, discussing his theories on whatever kind of secret work the company is behind. As Bernie tries to gain entrance into the facility, it comes under attack by Godzilla, who lays waste to the place, seemingly unprovoked. After burning half the place down, Bernie notices what looks like a core reactor hidden underground. Madison Russell sees news of Godzilla's rampage, leading to everyone thinking he is not as heroic as he once seemed. She goes to tell her dad Mark, who is now working closer with Monarch. Madison doesn't think Godzilla is naturally destructive, but Mark thinks that Godzilla has given in to these monstrous tendencies. She listens to Bernie's podcast regularly and overhears him saying how the Pensacola facility is responsible for whatever is going on with Godzilla. At the Denham University in Philadelphia, Walter visits former monarch scientist Dr. Nathan Lind with Ren Serizawa, son of Ishiro. Bernie only talks to them when he realizes who Madison's mother was. He discusses his conspiracy theory with Madison and Josh. She thinks that Apex did something to provoke Godzilla into attacking. Bernie tells them about a large stash of cargo that has made its way to Apex, as well as the tech he noticed earlier. The crew feeds Kong fish and Kong did something Dr. Eileen never thought or imagined could ever happen. while Eileen asks Ja why she didn't tell her that Kong can communicate, and Ja says that Kong didn't want them to know. Not long after, Godzilla makes his way toward the convoy, crashing into them and causing the ship to turn over. Kong is freed from his bonds and goes after the giant lizard. Kong manages to get a couple of good hits in and knock Godzilla back into the ocean, but Big G fires his blue flame toward the sky, causing him to take the advantage and pull Kong underwater with his tail, nearly drowning him. The crew releases depth charges to disorient Godzilla and free Kong, but the ape is wiped out. Eileen tells the convoy's captain to kill the power to make Godzilla think he's one so that he can leave. They do so and it works. Bernie joins Madison and Josh to the rundown Pensacola facility, but when they access the bunker, they find that the core is gone. The three then find an elevator that takes them underground. They come across a chamber containing pods filled with skull crawlers, but before they can get out, the chamber is picked up and being transported to Hong Kong. The crew finds the source of the energy signal in Antarctica. Ja convinces Kong to go through a tunnel where he has picked up the energy source, as it may lead to his home. The axe activates the energy source in the ground. 
Maya then sends out Apex spider drones to take out a sample of the source for her father to exploit, despite protests from Nathan and Illing. From up above, bat creatures descend and attack Kong and the crew, but he fights them off. On the surface, Godzilla has entered Hong Kong and finds the source leading to Hollow Earth. He breathes down it and sends a blast to charge Kong's axe. In the chaos, Maya and her team try to shoot Kong down, only for him to grab their craft and crush it in his paw. He then jumps through the portal, with Nathan, Ilin, and Ja following in their craft. Kong takes his axe out and begins round two with Godzilla. They wreck the city and demolish skyscrapers, but Kong comes back with a fury by bringing down the axe on Godzilla. His blue flame doesn't affect it, so Kong manages to bring Godzilla down hard with one swing. However, Godzilla gets himself back up and brings Kong down again with his foot. He roars in Kong's face, but Kong remains courageous and roars right back at him. Godzilla spares him and starts walking away. The trio are brought to Walter, who is planning to set Mechagodzilla onto the real Godzilla to establish humanity's dominance over the creatures. Unfortunately, just as Ren beings the uplink to Mechagodzilla, Ghidorah's consciousness takes control. Mechagodzilla swings its claw at Walter, killing him, while Ren is electrocuted from the override. The metal beast rises to the surface and goes after Godzilla, beginning to overpower him with its strength and stronger heat blast. For more interesting video, consider subscribing and commenting your favorite movie. Thanks for watching.